told you earlier in the show about dancing for the dogs going on this Saturday in Easton. The event is raising money for humane societies in Talbot, Dorchester, and Caroline counties. Caroline counties. Del Marva Life's Brian Spiros is still at Talbot Humane with some newly made friends who are going to benefit from the event. Well, Jimmy and Lisa, I'm back with Executive Director of Talbot Humane, Patty Quimby. We're going to introduce you to some of the animals who are here. The animals who will benefit from dancing for the dogs. That is, of course, until they find their forever home. So first, tell us about this little guy or girl here, Coco, Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel is about 12 weeks old, female. She is spayed just like all the other pets in our care. They're spayed and neutered before they leave our facility. She's and got to show that face is, uh, to the camera. Is included in our adoption fee. Wow, she's adorable. So up for adoption, Coco Chanel, and that's a pretty unique name too. Yes, a lot of people I'm sure all. like that. We, they're not just a number to us, they each have their own individual names. All right, and she's looking for her forever home. All right, Coco Definitely. Chanel, and Come on, next, Coco. we'll see you a little bit, Coco Chanel, okay, <laughs> next. Here, Amanda has many, many, many came to us last week. She's a, about two or three years old, a uh, Pekingese mix, and she is going to make somebody a wonderful pet. What kind of home would she be best suited for, you think? Somebody who has a little bit of room that, and time to give her exercise that she needs. She does great with kids, adults, everyone. So I think as long as you have the patience and time for her, she'll be a great pet. All right, thank she wants you. She to get down and run. She does. Thank <laughs> you, Minnie, and thank you, Amanda. Okay, next we have Tripaw. Tripaws is a special case. Tripaws came to us in January with an injury to his foot. So our veterinarian recommended having his leg amputated and he's all healed up and ready to go. You know, one of the things we were talking about before is that, you know, the cat only has three legs, but they're resilient. They don't really oh, realize yeah. any of that. Yeah, they don't notice it. You know, we always feel sorry for ourselves when we get a cold or something. He had his leg amputated and he was up bouncing around within a few days. So. All right, so Tripaw, up for adoption. Yes. Cute cat. And next we have Nanook. Nan Nanook. That's an interesting that name right Isn't there. He handsome? He's very cute. He's a five month old neutered male. Um, and he's pretty cuddly. He's right now looking at the bunnies behind me, but um, he is a nice kitty that's looking for his forever home also. And obviously good with children, obviously without yeah, question it's yeah. a kitten. So and, yeah. and we don't have too many kittens right now, so if people are out there looking, he's five months old, still has those kitten behaviors and features. So All right, thank you, Nanook. Got Nanook, Coco Chanel, all these interesting <laughs> names. And then finally, you know, as we had said earlier, Patty, is that you guys have a lot of rabbits in here right now. Nineteen to be exact. Nineteen rabbits. Um, this is Snowball. He is a lion head mix and he's just one of the 19 rabbits with us. He is a lovely buddy, and um, we have some really wonderful animals here. He's just one of the many. So ready for adoption. What advice would you give to people who are looking to get a pet, whether it's a rabbit, a cat, or a dog, and they want to come in? What would you say? Um, do some research on what you're looking for, what behaviors you're looking for. Uh, if you have allergies in your home, know what allergies you have going on. Um, even, you know, people want a cat, but you don't want a cat that's going to get on your counters and run rampant. Uh, look at older cats. We have some wonderful older cats here in our care. So you have a lot of stuff to choose yeah. from here, unfortunately. And these animals are looking for their forever home. Patty, Definitely. thank you very much. We thank appreciate you. it. Now, as we said before, Dancing for the Dogs is sold out, but you can still help. The U.S. Dance Easton Chapter 6099 is still taking donations. So if you want to know how you can help and send money, you go to our website, delmarvalife.com, and click on the show tab. We will also have information up there about Talbot Humane, so if you want to come down and adopt any of the animals you saw today, you can do so. And again, as a reminder, Dancing for the Dogs will help benefit Dorchester, Caroline, and Talbot Humane Societies. And guys, with that said, we'll send it back in to you. <laughs> Large time to be had oh, by all. Definitely. And I happen to know who the MC for that event is going to be, too. Oh, really? Yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun, so come join us. Oh, okay. Come join us. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> now, we wanted to, uh, earlier, we were with Jenny, and she was showing us how you can make uh, the, these uh, little plants like right? this. Yeah. And she put the little plant starter in the water, and yeah. we have the finished product for everyone to see. Yes, look at that. There it is. It's just bloomed well, she wasn't in kidding. the water. No, she wasn't. <laughs> that really came up. Yeah, that very interesting. Remember, we have all that information that she taught us uh, on our website, DelmarvaLife.com. Find out more. Well, thank you for watching Delmarva Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow because guess who is going to be 
getting some exercise. You're going to learn, learn Zumba? No. <laughs> but you are doing some Zumba. You're going to teach us are some moves, too? Are you going to tell me something? Yeah, well, I just didn't <laughs> bring it up there. Don't forget, you can also visit DelmarvaLight.com on your mobile device. Coming up next on WBOC, Dr. Oz or a switch to our sister station, Fox 21, for First at Five for the latest news and weather. And we couldn't do a thing without saying thank you to a wonderful studio audience. You guys have been awesome. If you want to find out more about how to join our studio audience, go to DelmarvaLife.com. All the information is right there. Just click on the show tab and it'll get you here. And they will tell you it is a lot of fun. We have fun. Did you guys have during fun? During yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> and if we're all lucky, I might get to tell a joke. No, 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 none of that. Delmarva life, life at its best here on Delmarva.